take a look at some of these illustrations made by AI. Are these not absolutely mind-blowingly epic? And they were created in seconds. So I have an idea for an animation and I would usually do the illustration myself, but how about we see what AI can do instead? So now I'm on Discord where we can access the mid-journey AI bot and quickly generate an image by typing forward slash imagine and then any keyword we like. Let's start with cute cartoon cat because I have an idea for an animation that involves a sneaky little cat. So let's see where that takes us. So you can see it's generated four images and I'm not 100% happy with any of these images. So I'm just going to retry this by clicking this button. Okay, so we have another four images. This is quite interesting. So what we can do is create some variations of that. I also kind of like what's going on here. So maybe we can see some variations of that as well. I don't really like the variations so much. Let's have a look at what's going on here. <laughs> That's quite cute. Okay, so I think I'm liking the original the most. So what we can also do is just upscale that. So there's our upscaled version, perhaps a little too detailed at this point. So what I sometimes like to do is just do a light upscale. Shame, it's starting to look a bit sad now. Let's actually try making some variations on this. This is kind of cute. Now I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, took us a while, but I think we got it. So now that we have a good looking cat, the next thing we need to create is a fishbowl. So I'm gonna type in imagine and then cartoon fishbowl. Okay, so this is what it spat out. I don't really like any of that, so let's re-roll. This is really speaking to me. I think we can make that work. Create some variations, do an upscale. The variations aren't really doing anything for me. The upscale, let's do a light upscale redo. I think that's perfect. Let's run with it. The next thing we need to create is a desk for our fishbowl to stand on. So let's type in imagine, cartoon desk, side view, I'm also adding this extra line of code which just tells the bot to create an image that's 1920 by 1080. Okay, rad. I'm loving this wood grain. That's really sick. Let's stick with this one. We also need a paw for our cat. And try as I might, I couldn't get Mid Journey to create anything that was actually usable. So I decided to take a different approach and that was using the Deep Dream Generator, which is also a way to use AI to uh, generate a style on top of an image to kind of merge the images in a way. So I imported this paw that I cropped from a real image of a cat and then I went to upload my own style. And of course, we're gonna use our cat so that we can get these two looking kind of similar. Okay, so this is our result. Hardly perfect. Kind of feels like it's nowhere near the level of my journey, but I think we can make it work. Finally, we need to create a background for our animation. So I'm gonna type in imagine, and then of course, cartoon bedroom. I'm also gonna add in this line because I know that my final product is going to be 1080p. So that's very cool, but we need a color version. Cartoon bedroom in color. This thing's just spitting f***ing works of art over here. Fuck, these are all really interesting. I really like what's happening here. This landscape is so sick. First time I'm actually having a tough time deciding. Why don't we focus on this and this and get upscale versions of those two. That's nice, that's nice. Let's do a light upscale on that. I like it, let's save that as well. And then we can just see which option works the best. Now our illustrations are done, we just need to prep them for animation. So basically what I did is I edited the images so that I could separate the cat's body from the cat's head. I uh, removed the background from the cat paw and just edited it to match the style a little bit. With the desk, I just removed these edges so that we can see the background through. And the fish bowl, I took out the background, separated the shadow out, and then I created a mat, which is basically just the glass part of the fish bowl. And with that, we're ready to get these bad boys into After Effects. And what I've done here is basically comped all of these layers together. So we have our background, and that just has a curves adjustment, a hue and saturation adjustment, and a fast box blur. So I was just trying to desaturate the background a little bit, get the colors to match the rest of the illustration a bit more. The fast box blur just separates that background really nicely. So we have our cat head painted to our cat body, and our cat paw sitting behind our desk, our fishbowl shadow is painted to our fishbowl, and our fishbowl shadow is multiplied on the layer below. Then the final touch is using that mat that we created on duplicates of our cat body and our cat head and just matting those so that they show up only in that area. I also dropped the opacity of these so that it feels like the cat's actually looking through. I've also added some curves adjustment to the fishbowl 
and the same thing with the desk so that these colors tie together. Now I'm just gonna briefly run through the animation process, but for anyone who is interested in a detailed breakdown, check out the link in the description to download the full animation tutorial as well as the project files. I ended up starting with the cat body. So if I open up the keyframes for that, you can see I animated the position and the scale. So he moves up nice and slowly. I then added a bit of rotation to the head at this point, just so the cat feels like he's eyeing this fishbowl. The next part I focused on was the paw, bringing the paw out from behind the desk and just anticipating this first whack. So then it was just using position and rotation keyframes to make it feel like he's really whacking this fishbowl. And that was using linear keyframes for the hit and then having a strong ease in and ease out. So of course I had to animate the fishbowl responding to that. And what I ended up doing is actually parenting the fishbowl and the fishbowl shadow to uh, null so that I could separate the positional movement from the rotational movement. So you can see the null is controlling the position to the right. So each time the paw hits, it animates from a linear keyframe with a strong easing on the right keyframe. And then there's this little wobble on the rotation. So the next thing I focused on was actually making this fishbowl fall off the edge. So the fishbowl null takes the fishbowl to the edge of the table, and then I use the rotation and position on the fishbowl to get it to fall off the table. So there are some curves on that as well, just to make it feel natural. Now, of course, after this fishbowl falls off, our cat has to make a quick exit that no one suspects him of any wrongdoing. So the way that I did that was animating the position and scale of our cat. There's an anticipatory upward movement in the body as well as the head. So if I open up the position keyframes, you can see I've animated this upwards and it's accompanied by the squash and stretch that I added to the scale here. And then that gets even more exaggerated as they animate it off screen. The paw also has a bit of an up and a down movement. Now you also might notice that the head has a bit of movement. So I wanted to make it feel like every time the cat hit the fishbowl, they were shifting their gaze in response to that. So there is a bit of rotation on that, but I also created a bit of faux 3D on this. So if I open up the keyframes fully and just solo this layer, I actually have a bunch of puppet pins on this layer. And I'm mostly using these central puppet pins to control the gaze so you can kind of get a sense of that. So then I just animated these puppet pins ever so slightly as the cat looks to the right. You can also see as the cat exits, I reset the puppet pins. I also added a bit of animation to the ears to emphasize the squash and stretch. The final thing that I did was duplicate the cat's head and the body, which I then pre-comped. So here you can see exactly the same animation. And then I used our fishbowl mat just to mat all of that. This allowed me to add some effects on top of this. So I added a magnify. So I just changed the size of this so that it matched the fishbowl. And then I animated the center slightly because it just added a nice little warp. And then the turbulent displace creates this sense of distortion through the fishbowl. I also keyframed both of these effects so that it was very distorted initially and then became slightly less distorted just so you could see this cute cat's features, you know? Then this background is pretty much placeholder at this point because the final step that I did was pre-comping both the background and these foreground layers. So this is where we ended up. You can see the background here and the foreground elements here. Uh, to finish things off, I added an overlay. It's just a solid with this color at 20% opacity and that just helps to tie all of the colors together. Then I added an adjustment layer with a vignette. I added a fast box blur to both the foreground and background elements. So in the beginning, the background is in focus and the foreground is blurred. And then I just swap that focus. And at the end, that's just reset. Final little thing that I added here was a 3D glasses to create a chromatic aberration. And that's just cause I'm really into that at the moment. And here is the final with sound added. I also wanted to note that I made a previous version of this animation just to see if it was possible to make this work. And it's really interesting to me how different and unique they are. I think we're just scratching the surface of what's possible. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see what the rest of the motion design community can do with this. So tag me on Instagram at Cameron Sheffer Boswell with your experiments so I can see and share them. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with this. I think the result is actually really interesting and AI is certainly a powerful tool to take advantage of and experiment with. So if you haven't taken a look at Midjourney yet, I highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of having your mind blown. However, 
Comment below if you think this is the start of the singularity.